Oh my God. So look, y'all, I got to tell y'all something. This is going to be a video about my dream, about a dream that I had months ago that I did not get, that I did not get. This is another celebrity dream. I have celebrity dreams all of the time. What I mean by celebrity dream is I have a dream where a celebrity is actually in the dream. They actually are in the dream and I learn from the celebrity or I learn uh, about the celebrity but in his dream I, I don't remember everything but so let me give you everything that's going on you can tell i'm excited so right now i'm listening to bobby Hemmett. i've been listening to bobby Hemmett, like binge watching him and brother panic for for like a week maybe going on two but i've been just i'm in a whole nother place and it's coming to me like i'm not hunting them down i don't hunt down uh, speakers, I don't hunt down authors, whatever y'all brings to me, that's mine. It's time for me to get it. You know what I'm saying? Like when the student is ready, when a student is ready, the teacher or the master will appear. And that's how I always learn when it comes to outside sources. Usually it's through meditation or dreams, right? So that was this one dream. I, I'm serious where um, I it was a while ago, y'all. So you know, be patient with me. But it it was a dream where I was like in this courtyard place. It was like a courtyard. It was like bricks. It was like everything was like that rusty, reddish, you know, red clay type of color. And you know, dreams have colors to. It's you know, it's something about the colors to me that communicate different messages. Um, but it was like this rusty red kind of brown, you know, like desert red clay type colors. And it was like these brick stones and brick, like brick stones that made like stairs that you could sit on, like on your porch, like on the stoop. If you have, you know, brick stairs in front of your house, bro. And um, for real, real, this is real, bro. This is crazy. And um, me, me and uh, me and, and Dwight Howard was sitting on them. Dwight Howard was sitting on these stairs. He was sitting on the stairs and I, I, I like walked up. So it's making me feel like this is his, where he where he resides. Now, even though he's sitting down, he's as tall as me standing up um, in his dream. And, um, and uh, I, I was asking him, we was talking about some deep stuff and I thought, you know, I was saying some stuff and I was actually surprised that Dwight Howard knew something. I don't know why. I mean, don't let these celebrities make you think they don't know much. You know, when you have wealth and power and, and mobility, uh, and some people would even say nobility, uh, you have a grasp that you would not have otherwise, meaning that because of the rooms and uh, the resources and, and, the, uh, and the networks that they have, they're exposed to different things, information included. So I was like surprised in his dream that he was like be able to have a conversation with me. Like, and that's some prideful stuff. Like what makes me think like I'm so intelligent or so wise or so brilliant, right? So like, that's another lesson. Like you can learn from anybody. Like I can learn from anybody. I can learn from anybody. And I do learn from everybody, whether it's a, a lesson that's comfortable for me, that makes me feel good or a lesson that makes me rethink my whole, my whole everything. You know what I'm saying? So, but anyway, Man, the White Howard was sitting and we were chatting, and it came up. We were talking about diamonds or something, something deep. And he said, he, uh, he we were talking about gold or something. We were talking about gold. We were talking about something. And he said, This is, he said, I'm telling you, this dream was a while ago, but with Bobby Hemmett tied it all together. The White Howard said in his dream, and he was so relaxed when we was talking. Like, he was like, he knew something. You know how some people, you know, like, it's like he knew something more than I knew, but he wasn't going to tell me what the hell I was missing. He was just going to lead me on. Like, leave it, like, open. Leave me with some aperture. So I'm, like, talking to him, and he said, he was, ta I was talking about gold. I was talking about gold. And he said... Um. Oh, that's a distraction. Sometimes things try to be a distraction. You gotta let that go. <laughs> you gotta let that go. But um, 
He said black is gold. Your blackness is gold. Uh, he said it in a way that was like, what? Like, what the hell are you talking about? Like, I was like, that don't make no sense. It didn't make any sense, but I was not foolish enough to say that or to let that really sit in. I know that if he said that, that he knew something. I actually felt out of the loop. I felt out of the loop. And then Bobby Hemme is talking right now about Luna Essence and the pineal gland on his one video, man. And he said that that black is gold. He was basically giving a whole, you know, a bunch. If y'all don't know about Bobby Hemme, go check that out. But he was just saying a whole bunch of stuff. Like, I'm learning right now. I'm just, I'm in a place where I need to learn. And it clicked that Dwyer Howard was basically telling, basically telling me that I am gold. That gold refers to me. Oh, he was talking about like liquid gold. Like he was saying like liquid gold. Uh, uh, Dwyer Howard was saying something about either liquid gold or uh, something about it, man. But when he's, you know, because dreams go through emotions and feeling. That's a whole nother realm. It's not always the words. It's not always speaking. It's just what you feel is being communicated to you. So it's for me to get the verbatim right now, the the ver, the, the vernacular accurate, it's kind of tough, especially I thought this dream, you know, I let it go. But it means a lot. And the White Howard was saying some shit that I could not grasp. And he was basically saying like that I am gold, like that I am the resource, that I am the, the value, like that that lunar essence that people call melanin, but carbon, very the life force, the creative life force, where everything is made from, that darkness, that outer space blackness, that black soil, that deepness, that's everything is made from. He was saying that that's what he was saying y'all he was saying he had to be saying that because that it, it, it resonated it resonated but man i mean man that's crazy it's not crazy it's, it's the truth because it feels like the truth man i've been struggling with knowing what's the truth and what's not lately so but it's good to feel that that's real that's real that was real. So thank you, Dwight Howard, for visiting me in my dream and teaching me. Uh, even though I didn't grasp it at the time, but thank you, Bobby Hemmett, for coming and confirming that. You're the Dwight, Dwight Howard version of me. And Bobby Hemmett, you're the Bobby Hemmett version of me. Because we all the same thing. And I appreciate y'all for teaching the me version of y'all. All right, this dude keep distracting me. I thought I got away from him. I hope... I, I know y'all heard everything I said, regardless of what's trying to, like, come against this message. It's real. Thank you again, like I said, Dwight Howard, man. And Bobby Hemmett, man. Man, don't never think these celebrities is idiots and stupid. They... They hiding stuff. That's another thing that I get from this dream. He was hiding it. He was, they had to leave hints. It's like, he couldn't tell me. He couldn't tell me. He didn't want to tell me directly what the, what he wanted to say, you know? And he just left me standing there. And he had like a little smirk on his face. Like, like he knew something that I didn't know. And it brought him pleasure to know that. All right, man. Love y'all. St. Piper here, AK Black Native. Man, my mind is blown. That's small. That might be small to a lot of people. But when things click, when you get that aha moment, that's better than like, that's the best feeling in the world, man. That's the best feeling. That's the best feeling. So now, the, you know, the White Howard tag team with Bobby Hemmett to break down a piece of a obstacle in my mind because now I know that gives me more of a identity i know who i am what i am what i'm capable of and man i am gold black is gold because of how valuable it is and what it can do not just with a closed mind but you got to open your mind man and learn just keep learning y'all 
keep learning. That's what I could say too. Some advice: keep learning. When you have dreams, try to remember them as best as you know. Remember them as best as you can. Remember them, and you never know uh, when it's time for you to really learn that lesson. When it's gonna be confirmed. I love y'all, and I thought that was a small dream because I had big, huge dreams. I thought that was a little small dream, but it, it was big. All dreams. Love y'all later. Peace.